Alright, Ravens Flock, Raven Nation, Flock Nation. I tried to go live like uh, a few times just now, but the shit keep making me lose connection and reconnect. I ain't time for that shit. But still, shouts out to the, uh, my new subscribers, man, because without y'all, I wouldn't be at 100. You feel me? Because uh, now I'm able to go live. So shouts out to y'all, man. Thank y'all for real. But uh, without further ado, let's just get straight to it. Um, you know, I don't know how many times we done blown second half leads after lead, right? I don't. I lost count. I don't care. I really didn't even care about this game. I watched this game. That's why I really didn't even care to, 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 to speak on it right after it happened. I did not care. I do not care about these last two games. I don't. I just want uh, coaching to be dealt with right now. Because I've been said this a few videos ago. Not to say that I've been on this on, on, on the train uh, of um, we not going to do nothing this year. I was never on that train. But my thing is, it's evident. It's going to keep getting worse. Like I've been saying, it's going to keep getting worse, yo. It's going to keep getting worse. What on God's earth do we get rid of Don Wake Martindale for? If you wanted a whole new philosophy and your guy to come in and he's still making stupid ass decisions. Still making stupid ass decisions. You got away with Brandon Stevens being on Pickens. Was it twice? No, no. You got away with him stopping him one time. One time. And you still feel good enough to leave him on him or 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 just ignore the fact that fucking Najee Harris is is what they've been running with mostly all game. And and let me say this too before I forget. Roquan, I, I love what Roquan has done to the team. He's he's helped us out, you know, all that. But he he, he looked like Queen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Roquan was nowhere to be seen, yo. He was not making enough plays to seal the deal for us. And if players just said, fuck it, I'm over it, then, then so be it. But I'm not going to get on Roquan too much because he's putting in enough work throughout his career. I, it's, it, him, him having a bad game was not the reason we lost the game. So I'm just saying that. But it wasn't a good sight to see. Najee Harris get off on him like that and then we expecting you to be the next fucking coming to Ray Lewis like I, I don't know I don't know what's going on at this point I don't know I've been saying maybe we need to lower expectations for a lot of shit but just as I lowered them motherfucker oh man this this son of I'm trying to watch my words not for my videos. I'm just trying to watch my words right now because I I, I I want to find the right word and I don't want to let go of the, 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 the wrong one. But this motherfucker, man. John Harbaugh, are you fucking serious? He said out his bitch ass mouth. I didn't like seeing Gus get only two carries. How you going to call us into the barroom talk? And you don't even got control of your fucking offense as a head coach. We at the end of the bar. You at the fucking game sitting there watching our number two running back get fucking two carries. And you going to sit there and tell us. I didn't like that. Tell that fat ass motherfucker in the damn press box that shit. What the fuck you telling us for? We see the shit. We've been seeing this shit all fucking season. We've been seeing this motherfucker fuck shit up all season for us. All fucking season. He been doing little, little, little bitch ass shit like that, yo. All fucking season. When are you going to do something, John? Stop talking to us 
Like, we don't see the fucking problem. You need to see the fucking problem and either do something about it or get the fuck out of Baltimore, bro. That's it. That's it, yo. You done ruined Lamar time here. You done ruined our time having Lamar here. You done fucked up almost every fucking draft pick that you done selected, bro. Almost every fucking draft pick. We traded Sean Wade for nothing. What did you draft him for? We drafted Kamalea Correa, Correa. Got rid of him. What did you draft him for? We got Ben Mason, the fucking fullback from Michigan, on the team getting fucking buzz haircuts, mohawks in the fucking bathroom. What the fuck did you draft him for? I'm sick of this nigga, yo. It's, it's beyond this. It's beyond fucking insanity, yo. Marlon tweeted about this shit last season. It's beyond insanity at this point. We in a fucking nut house. We in a fucking nut house. This motherfucker really asked, really told us he didn't like something that happened under his fucking watch. But you made a point to sit there and talk to Lamar about a fucking tweet. But you made a point for fucking uh, uh, Tyus Bowser to apologize to fucking Greg Roman for just uploading what the fuck he saw. Yo, y'all got me hot. Yo, that's why I waited. To yo, I tried to cool out. I'm still fucking pissed, y'all. I'm fucking pissed right now, y'all. I know everybody still, you know, got prayers to, to the uh, 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 homeboy from, uh, from the Bills. I, I pray he pulls through, man. Um, and now I'm going to get on that in a little bit later. <clears throat> but I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still pissed about what the fuck is going on with our team, yo. I'm sorry. I'm not taking no shine. I'm not taking no uh, attention. I'm not trying to do that. I'm, I'm not I'm not on that type of time, y'all. But I'm just trying to get explain what I seen, what I what I my, my intake on the game. But right now, but right now, bro, I tried to calm down. I tried to be mindful before the situation hit the fan. Before I said, you know what, let me press record. But I can't hide it right now. That shit got me so fucking pissed still as I did while the game was going. And then this nigga Huntley. If he he's the most I, I don't I, I bro, I'm not trying to come at you on bullshit, dog. But you the most too goody two shoe motherfucker if I ever seen one, yo. What the fuck are you talking about? You tried to make a play. You was better off throwing it the fuck out of bounds. What the fuck was that? How the fuck did you beat Lamar in high school, bro? I keep asking motherfuckers. I'm trying to figure this shit out. How the fuck did you beat Lamar in high school, bro? How? And I was rooting for you, Huntley. I was rooting for you. And maybe I'm just upset, yo. So don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't take it, don't take everything what I'm saying was a grand. So I, don't, I ain't nobody. I'm somebody, but I, I ain't nobody to sit there and, 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 and uh, uh, stop your impede on your life. It ain't nothing like that, bro. But I'm just saying, I, football, just focusing on football. How the fuck did you beat Lamar? Cause you playing right behind Lamar, and you, and there's no, and there's no shade either too. Because I've seen Lamar do a pass like that and it get intercepted too. So I don't know what that is. But we, not we. But John Harbaugh is banking on you being his savior, just how Lamar was. And it's not looking good. I see the same fucking worry on John Face every fucking game. Every fucking game. I knew we was going to lose at the halftime because I looked at this nigga face and he looked fucking defeated. Go look at the game. Go look at the highlights. I'm not even watching the NFL replay shit no more right now at this point. Yo, I don't want to see this shit. I don't want to see John Face no more. I just don't understand. You done came out 
and said out your own mouth, Greg Roman says he purposely waits until the, the end of the, the play clock is gone to run a play, which has caused is the leg games, which has caused Lamar to be punting the fucking ball, which is something he's never done. You didn't already said we need to execute better. You didn't like the fact that uh, Proche was uh, throwing a fucking wide receiver pass, and it wasn't it wasn't a timing for that. Now you coming out saying you didn't like the fact that Greg Roman only gave motherfucking Gus Edwards two carries. When the fuck do you step up and do something? Eric DaCosta, when the fuck do you step up and do... I'm like, are y'all fucking serious? Yo, this shit got me so fucking mad, yo. Who does this shit? Who does this shit? I've never seen the Ravens operate like this, bro. Never, bro. Never, bro. Never. I know niggas can say what they want about the wide receiver situation. This is bigger than that shit right now. I've never seen John Harbaugh hold on to a fucking offensive coordinator for dear life how he's doing with fucking Roman. I've never seen no shit like this, yo. Never. He never pulled that shit with Joe Flacco whole fucking career, yo. After three seasons, after two seasons, if they wasn't doing shit, they was out of here. I can't believe you, John. You sitting there telling us shit like you a fucking reporter. You the fucking head coach. My nigga, yo. How many more times do Roman got to fuck some shit up for you to step in and do something, yo? What is the point of Lamar coming back at this point if we got to deal with Roman shitty plays like this? Still. Still. It don't matter who we get at QB. It don't matter who we get at wide receiver. Gregory P. Roman is the fuck here. Whatever the fuck his name is. And then they had an article on this motherfucker because I was sitting there looking up hoping that this motherfucker was fired Monday morning. They had a fucking article talking about this dude. Saying he started out as a strengthening and conditioning coach. Do y'all hear how ridiculous that sound? A strengthening and conditioning coach. His fat ass ain't doing nothing. Nothing. But sitting there coaching our fucking team, he making the most money. Y'all know he making the most money at offensive coordinator in the NFL? And he got Lamar Jackson and can't do a fucking thing? All that cap shit that he was sitting there trying to portray to us. Like, oh, I I do this. I'm the reason for the success. Not Lamar. You can't do it with Huntley. You can't do it with Huntley, though. And then, look, then John, you all sit there and say it's only one game. It's only one game. Nobody was saying that when we was winning the other game. Okay, you bitch. All right. All right. Bet. All right. I bet you y'all lose against the Bengals. I bet you y'all lose against the Bengals. Then what? Then what? Man, we just got to stay tuned. Because this shit, I, I've never seen no shit like this, man. It pisses me the fuck off, yo. Speaking on the situation with the Bills players, uh, I pray, I pray uh, he gets him a much better health as soon as possible. Um... But I think on both sides of the ball, offense and defense, I don't believe uh, it's a good thing for uh, either side of the team, either side of, uh, of the ball, to be targeted with the helmet. Offense, you target with the helmet, uh, you, you get kicked out the game, and you get suspended for three games. You do it again, it's the, full, it's the rest of the season. Because I seen the hit, and this is just me. But it looked like T. Higgins led with his helmet and tried to lay down a hit on him and get him out of the way. And it just won the fucking plays. You hit anybody that fucking hard in they, in they damn solar plex like that. Trust me, that's going to have a, an effect on your damn body. You know? But I think they did crack down on, 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 on uh, targeting and all that shit. 
uh, same with that James Derwin hit, all that type shit. Just just last week, it was an obvious targeting penalty. He should. That's that's the type of shit you need to be suspended for at least five games, if not the fucking season, yo. Cause that's bullshit. You know, Air Reed never played the game like that. Uh, uh, um, Troy Palomalu never played the game like that. Ray Lewis never played the game like that, and that's disgusting to see players do shit like that. But make it on both sides of the ball, not just fucking defense, offense too. Uh, I know Higgins didn't what wasn't looking at to hurt him, nothing like that. But still, it happened, and it don't need to happen no more. But uh, yeah, man, Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man. I just I. Man, I'm just sick of it. And then I be listening to this motherfucker Bobby Trossett. I don't know what the fuck he be talking about. Talking about if you give her the wrong man, I don't think it's going to change anything. No, you, you, you listen, man. Roman is the fucking reason why John is in this fucked up position. Yes, we need to get rid of John too. But it needs to start with fucking Roman. It needs to start with fucking Roman. He's making the most money at offensive coordinator in the NFL. How is he not to blame? How is he not to blame? And going off of John words, he got more control of the fucking offense than anybody. So, of course, he needs to go. Ravens flock, Ravens nation, flock nation, man. I... We in a fucking asylum right now. This is not even the fucking castle no more. It's the fucking asylum, yo. I don't know what the fuck, man. I don't know, y'all. I just I don't I don't know, man. I can't even hope for nothing because ain't shit gonna happen. What the fuck are we waiting on? I've been made these videos part one and part two. What the fuck are you waiting for, yo? What are you waiting for? And then on top of that. Lamar, Lamar, man, Lamar position and, and his negotiations just keeps getting better and better. But it, it, it's this is some frustrating shit, yo. I've never been as frustrated as a Ravens fan. Um, it's been, it's been a long time coming for me, man. Uh, I think the last time I was uh, upset like this is when we had Kamar Aiken as the number one wide receiver. Like, I don't get it, but I don't know, man. I can't provide y'all with no healing right now. It's nothing to say that to make none of this shit better other than Roman getting fired or Roman and John getting fired. Like, it's it's a it's a bad week for the uh, for NFL right now. It's a bad week for the Ravens right now. We still waiting to see what the fuck gonna happen with Gregory Roman, this motherfucker, yo. <sighs> Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man. I'm out, y'all. Next time y'all see me, I'm going to try to go live. Hopefully, ain't no internet connections and shit. But, man, shouts out to y'all, man. I hope y'all being safe out there. Protect y'all energy. Watch yourselves. Uh, 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 pay attention to detail. Uh, all that shit, man. Y'all be careful out here, man. I'm out, yo.